The original plan was to just let the condors be out there and start nesting and reproducing. Uh, we saw evidence of nesting and what we weren't seeing is we weren't seeing chicks fledging and we didn't really know why. So it's late 90s, they got into nests and found debilitated chicks dying. We started a program where chicks were being monitored very closely where the biologists were going in and evaluating eggs for fertility, um, checking the chicks at 30, 60, 90, and 120 days so that we could identify what the problems were, why we weren't having any success, and see if we could intervene and be successful. There have been specific problems with condors bringing trash back to the nest, uh, feeding the trash to the chick, and chicks consuming the trash to such an extent that it's interfering with their nutritional needs and they get sick and very debilitated from it. We don't really understand the mechanism behind this. There's been a lot of theories. It's very natural for the parents to feed bones and calcium to the chicks. So we think maybe it's related to that behavior. This is a whole body radiograph of the bird that had both the lead toxicity and the trash impaction. So what you're seeing here, the head is off the screen up here. Those are wings, legs. This is the crop. Within the crop, there's a bottle cap. There's a bunch of glass. Um, if you trace out the GI tract, here's crop. There's esophagus, normal stomach. This is the ventriculus. You can see even what a lot of the objects are in the x-rays. There's a bunch of bottle caps. Those objects right there are metal density, and I can tell you because I did surgery on this chick, those were lead bullets. This is enough trash that this chick is not able to eat and digest food appropriately. So this chick was suffering both from starvation, secondary to the trash impaction, and lead toxicity. The numbers of chicks that are out there are not that large. In California, we may have anywhere from four to eight nests. So when there's only four to eight nests, every one of those chicks is very, very precious.